bracket. It's about 140 years old. It's what the game of tennis was uh, uh, came from. It's uh, bent over to the side like that because it, it was played indoors against walls and a floor, so they thought uh, they'd keep it from banging into those the walls and floors. And also they used a lot of slice, so they thought by expanding the head side over that way, they'd get more uh, surface, string surface on the ball. The, uh, it's got a knotted string pattern, which was not so much for texture, but to uh, keep the main strings taut because they didn't have tensioners like what we have now and stuff. Uh, it's a one-piece ash bent steam frame. They put it in a, um, a boiler and boil it actually, and then bring out the what they called sticks, and then wrap them around a mold. And that's, <laughs> and that's how they made the, those ones. And then um, from there they went to the, like uh, so late late 1800s. Well, the game of tennis actually started around 1874, as we know it, in lawn mm -hmm. tennis. Um, and this is a late 1800s racket here. The heads are still a little fanned out because they did a lot of this kind of thing. And then uh, they, they scored the grip to, to have some kind of texture to hold on to because the leather didn't really work too well for them back in those days. And that's late 1800s. Um, this racket is uh, uh, interesting in that it's a... Uh, uh, also, a late 1800 frame, but it's a longer frame. Sometimes we think we all got all the new ideas and stuff, but you can see it's about a 27 and a half inch long fr frame, just like a Chang's version. <laughs> yeah, wow, it is longer. Yeah, yeah see? <laughs> and then uh, this is a, an Edwardian racket uh, from the 20s. It's a dolphin tail or a fish tail. They, they, that was another way of trying to find a, a, a good grip, something mm -hmm. to hold on to. That was quite popular for a while. This is a 1923 Dayton. It's a um, uh, half wood, and then it's got a steel head, and it's strung with steel strings. Um, I talked to some of the old guys <laughs> a long time ago, anyways, and they said they didn't like it because it kind of tore the balls up, but it was kind of a modern uh, uh, frame at the time. Very expensive. I got one home sale, I was price tag on it. It was $19.50, wow. so it was a lot of money back then. Wow. This is one of the first aluminum rackets made. It's 1928 Burmall. Uh, I know most people don't think that uh, they had aluminum rackets back then, but they did. It, it has. They're starting to see some leather grips now. This is uh, the original tacky grip. It's kind of cool. And th this is a 1929, all a Dayton also, but it's all steel. There's no wood involved with that one anymore. Wow. Oh.